YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through with another sneaker rotation, weekly seven. Thanks for everybody that's been watching my previous videos and thanks to y'all right now that's actually watching this current video. Um, I already said thanks for the 2,000 plus subs. This is my last time saying it. Uh, I didn't say it a thousand times on almost every video, but all y'all that's still hanging in there and watching all that, thanks for looking, thanks for watching. Um, so, day one, beginning on Monday, day seven, ending on Sunday. Man, 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 still remember sneaker rotations, man. I see a few, like, new YouTubers actually doing it, um, you know, and it's just coming to me by random, probably because sometimes I look at my own sneaker rotations, like, way after you guys look at them. I always watch my own sneaker rotations just to see what I've worn, and so I can actually keep up with my collection. And also, too, so that no sneakers really like break down on me. Now, um, the breaking down process can actually be uh, fought against um, by simply just wearing your sneakers. On Monday, I ended up rocking the Nike Air Flight 89. Now, I ended up reviewing this joint um, before I got my new camera. And this is one of those kicks that I wish I had my new camera when I did review it. So I don't know what I might do, guys. I don't know if I might do an update video or something like that regarding this this colorway and the blue colorway. Um, I know that's really a, 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 a subscriber favorite, at least here. And it's probably just all around on YouTube. Flight 89 boys are definitely in effect. And uh, yeah, guys, fly in flames. And uh, already did the black and zen gray version. Um, after you wear it for like 2012 or something like that. I think I got it from 2012 or 2013 Got it for like 30 bucks from the Nike outlet over the phone Yes over the phone. So not this one, but my black and zen gray one. I did uh, Lived in which is my actual Update series on my sneaker channel on this channel Tuesday. I end up rocking the Nike Turf 2 yeah, the Nike Diamond Turf 2. And that's this joint right there. That camera is looking crisp today, guys. I got my editing. I'm, not my editing, but I got my uh, the editing cool too. But, you know, I got I got my lens focus, focus today. It's looking extra crispy. That That's how the real red look on this sneaker. You know what I mean? Like, clean. The light is hitting just right. This is like a perfect angle, guys. You know what I mean? I'm kind of important. But, you know, I know y'all guys came to see, see the sneakers, though. Most importantly, um, Wednesday, I ended up rocking the Cardinal 7s. Last sneaker rotation, if you guys didn't see, I actually wore the Olympic 7s. And one of the things is just like, man, the, the 7s is just so forgotten. You know what I mean? Like, it's just ridiculous how, uh, you know, it's just left out uh, of the Jordan retro history. I know it's all business. Um, Jordan... You know, Jordan, Nike, I, I see they, they try to keep, I see Jordan brand try to keep the seven alive to a certain degree, but you know, it's all business. So if the sevens don't sell as much, why would they keep releasing sevens all like that? They just put very few out, you know, barely enough every, what, two years to count on one hand. You know what I mean? Like you can clearly remember the last sevens that dropped, the, 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 uh, the China sevens and the hair 2.0 sevens the flint sevens and even those didn't really sell out all like that so you know i believe they sold and the people that wanted them actually picked them up um the jordan 7 definitely one of my top five jordan models of all time maybe even top three really but uh yeah man definitely a slept on model i can't wait till they do this one over again though thursday I end up rocking this joint right here and uh definitely nice you know summer winding down and I had this basically, you know, I wore this already like for a few days. And you know, I do my sneaker rotations a little bit later, you know what I mean? A week or two later, because technically I wear the shoes two to three days, you know what I mean, in a row, just so I can really get that wear. One day of wearing it is okay, but the, the longer you wear it throughout the week, it's actually a little bit more better, obviously, because you're wearing it. Because as soon as you put them back up, man, the, the deterioration process start or you know at least if you store them in a good place the 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 deterioration process takes even longer so um i truly believe in that man as long as i've been in the sneaker game now for at least fully fully at least like a, a ooh, probably a little over 10 years now like man the years starting to fly man but yeah um 
Legend Blue 11. I know they dropped the lows this year. Not really too much a fan of the lows. Uh, if I didn't have this, I would I would have probably gotten the, the lows, just like I, how I got with the cool gray uh, low top 11s. Only just really got those as a consolation to the, they actually come out with the mid top or high top cool gray 11s. You know what I mean? Like that's what I really want. Friday right here. And you know, previously I actually wore the Barclays 180s particularly and uh and i'm just like man you know what let me let me just go get that other colorway too because this is a little bit more of that cookies and cream kind of like vibe you know what i mean got the speckles on it you would think that it's like dirty from the side or something like some snow or, or mud dried up on the back but actually that's not even the case uh only thing is that's that's just the way the sneaker is made guys uh, that's all decorations and it's just speckled again you got more of that cookies and cream kind of like bob got the tan like bob i think this is more of a lifestyle colorway um this colorway is a little bit more in you know with the bone colorway and all that stuff now i rock i actually cop these before you know whatever the current trend is just because i generally like the sneaker and uh yeah definitely flying flames and um with this i don't even leave this the the sneaker unstrapped like that at least when i'm wearing it i know some people it's just like anti-strap and they just hang every damn strap i don't believe every sneaker strap should hang you know i think you you know you don't got to put it on there super tight but i do believe it look a little bit better you know because you got the force right there clean you know just go with some blue jeans saturday i end up rocking the nike air of tempo 95 Man, 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 the prices on these starting to go up a little bit. Um, the Lakers colorway, the reverse colorway it is, and they also got a blue colorway like this. Definitely cold. I just wish they could have kept the air bubbles red like the OG. And uh, this part right here, it's not really too much a deal breaker, but I've heard that this line, this black line is not on the OG. So, you know, we just take whatever Nike give us and that's that. And uh, yeah, the Nike Air More Up Tempo 95 is for Saturday. Lastly, if you have not seen this review, guys, on Sunday, I'm rocking the New Balance 1500 Miami colorway. Um, this was probably like one of the uh, videos I recently had put out, if I didn't put none out before this. But uh, I know a good, a decent amount of people, at least for my channel and views, seen this already. But yeah, so I just end up rocking this joint. I'm happy to review out um it's not my first 1500 but you know this is just one of many so let me just go over all these one more time just a quick breeze through this is one of my favorite fonts by nike is the nike cursive for the for the fours and the um the 89s and also the nike air moab font is raw too like two of my favorite nike fonts ever so monday ended up rocking this joint right here the flight 89 university red scotty pippen was known to wear this one particularly Tuesday ended up rocking the Nike Air Diamond Turf or the Nike Diamond Turf 2. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a 49ers colorway. Definitely fly flames. I like that gold through there too. That look hard. They came out with like three colors back then when those dropped. I think those dropped in 2012. Wednesday, the 2011 Cardinals. They also got the 06 Cardinals as well. And uh, yeah. This was, this was my first pair of sevens as, a, as an adult. And that's when I realized like, man, the size, the sevens run kind of big. So, yep, Wednesday. Legend Blue 11 or Columbia 11 for Thursday. I still try to keep it crisp, man. You see that the, the yellow and a little bit starting to take place, but it's all good. It's all good. Just, you know, watch the way you rock them. Then you got the back, the back sticker not even a sticker but the vinyl is still intact guys too like talk about taking care of some shoes man some people probably would think these are barely even worn you know what i mean we got the nike air 180 joint nike air 180 force force 180 barclays in a lifestyle colorway saturday the up tempo 95s lastly Again, on that Sunday, end up rocking the New Balance 1500 Miami colorway. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil coming through. Y'all know what I do, guys. Got more videos on the way. Stay tuned.